everybody. Um, if you're curious about this journal, I just did a flip through on it on its own video. This is for my friend Snow. Uh, really fun to make. And my first completed uh, ready to give journal. And I promised I'd do one of all the other ones. Um, I kind of discovered journaling um, when I was sick with chicken pox this spring. I watched many, many, many videos and it kind of got me through the darkness of a week being in bed with chicken pox. If you haven't had chicken pox as an adult and you haven't had chicken pox, you do not want them. Um, I'm not sure, I guess I'll start with the first one. So this is the first one I made. Um, all these ones are still work in progress. Uh, so I made a cover. All mine are, are sewn, sewn bound. Um, this one, the cover is a paper bag, which is cool. I got a big tuck spot here. This is like a really heavy duty paper bag. Um, and this one's all made with greeting cards. Um, I got a whole bunch of holiday cards in the mail, send us a donation style. Um, and uh, I've had, I've, uh, some of these are birthday cards I've had for over a decade. <laughs> it was time I learned to junk journal. Um, so this one, um, this is like a baby wipe. Um, so I decided it got all pretty and painty, so I decided to stick it in and threw some glitter paint on it. So yeah, this one was for my grandparents. <laughs> this is uh, part of a Christmas one, another birthday one. So yes, this was the test run for the fish for my friend's journal that I failed. This one turned out lovely. The other one like was falling apart with the glue and I guess the background was too dark. But it turned out really nice there. Uh, crazy, I haven't done anything to that yet. This is the first attempt. Uh, I, I used Mod Podge on the other ones and this one I used uh, matte gel medium and the ink ran everywhere. So I gessoed it and then colored over the design with permanent markers with Sharpies. Just some fancy paper, uh, magazine collage. I'll still keep going with them but I thought they looked cool and went well together. Um, some cellophane from a bag. No, nothing there, nothing there. Yeah, this one's kind of cool. It's kind of flat. Um, 2014. So, this magazine and uh, matte gel medium and some stamping. So, I haven't done much in this one. Uh, just matte, was testing out matte medium using up bits and scraps of paper. <laughs> um, one of my photographs that I printed that I don't like, so it was a test print and I shoved it in there. This is the marsh that I live next to. I live in the bottom of a valley. Um, it's a little card, it's funky, I still... Cards like that, it's really pretty. Yeah, so I live in the bottom of a valley next to a marsh. I have water less than 300 meters away from my home. Um, it does not belong to me, but it belongs to the town, and um, everybody can go there. And there's otters, there's otters a kilometer from my house. Love it. Love it. I'm into canoe camping, so... Oh yes, I mixed this color, and I love it. So I painted it there. That's the excess from a project. This is my kitty, Pixel, being a pain in the butt. So, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, there's one more. So yeah, just cards. So this one's pretty empty. Um, I just Mod Podge uh, tissue paper. Oh no, napkin. This was a napkin. This side's gessoed and this side's painted. So that's the first one. Um, before I actually put that one together, I had this other idea. And I, I don't think I've seen this idea online much. Um, recycling convention books. Um, so... Basically, I just cut notches in them. Like, I measured out where I wanted my holes, and I just cut notches in. Before I did that, even, I just glued pages together. So I think these were pretty thin. No, these are three pages glued together. So really good and stiff. I was a bit, like, oops, I, this was, like, I made these first. So this one I'm using as um, leftover paint so far. So I'm just leftover paint. Leftover paint. Just open a page and swap in paint. <laughs> swap in paint. Oh yeah, then a manual for a tent. 
Who needs a manual for a tent? So paint, paint. So yeah, I'm having fun with that. I, I got this idea from a lovely lady named Sugar who has wonderful um, tutorials. And what I like about hers, like there's a lot of really awesome, um, move the cat. You're in the way, sweetie. Trust, when you try to do a video, a cat appears. Um, lovely lovely videos out there but that use a lot of specialized tools and I'm starting out and I'm pretty broke um, I'll on a decent pay I'll spoil myself and buy $30 worth of stuff which it doesn't go far at Michael's but I found a cool dollar store with like a really good crafting section and been doing that um, sugar most of her stuff is like stuff you have lying around the house so I really really love her videos um, and I love the other gals other ladies videos too but I can't work up to like a die cut machine or uh, you know I splurged today and got embossing powder because it just looks so much fun um, so yeah that was my splurge and I stocked up on glue <laughs> so yeah I just painted this is all, all my other covers are pretty much um, food cardboard like cereal boxes or cookie boxes or whatnot so I had fun watered down paint and just splattered it on this one. And funky yarn. Um, so this one's not complete because the first one of these books, so it's it's um, convention books again. But these ones I bound all together first before binding them in, so I have to undo that. And then one book fits in this folder that I glued all kinds of paper. This is like my, my first try and it didn't get done. I didn't finish it, so I don't know what I'm going to use this for, but it's all pretty now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And then my last one, so a little bit more learned. So this really funky ribbon, I bound it with different stuff. You get really funky dangles. Um, and this is going to be for traveling. And I have, like, a drawer full of stuff just for this. And uh, before we get into it, I'm going to restart my video in a bit. So this one's for traveling. Um, uh, we had a trip to Pittsburgh. I live in southern Quebec. Je parle français. <laughs> and um, we went to Pittsburgh. Uh, we drove there uh, to go to Replay FX, uh, which is a video game, retro video game convention, to promote uh, my partner's uh, game. He rewrote uh, Donkey Kong. So we went there to promote that. So I have like uh, the pages I started are from that, and I have like a drawer full of stuff that I picked up for that trip to go in here. And then we went to Fun Spot in New Hampshire, which is the world's largest video arcade. See a theme here. Um, so this is a card someone gifted me, just blank, um, and I just loved it. And I'm putting it in, and I'm leaving it as is because it's just pretty. And then uh, just paint, and then this I dropped globs of paint and then blew it around through a straw. <clears throat> Pardon me, which was super fun. Card. This was a, some weird advertisement thing in a napkin dispenser I bought, and it's like really weird paper. I don't know. I've had this for like three or four years. I'm I've been like a pack rat. It, the junk journaling is great for this. This is a card I picked up from Nuit Blanche, which was like an art tour in the middle of winter in Montreal which like was really cool like the artist had a wall of this style of art everywhere and like people could add on to it it was really cool um my partner likes smoking de germs which are clove cigarettes and we found this brand so i kept the box and putting in there and i bought art from this artist i don't know like the wandering mage she draws charcoal on some sort of it looks like canvas or maybe like parchmenty kind of paper and like realism and surrealism and it's just gorgeous so I, I bought a fox from her drinking tea because it was just really really cute I really like foxes uh, so some construction paper with a fox and there's this is going to be um, a shaker which I know to put beads in it this time so old stickers and confetti from hole punching this we stayed at the Omni Hotel, so that's an envelope and um, piece of 
part uh, not parchment but uh, note letter um, that was in our hotel room which I shamelessly stole from my <laughs> journal it was such a gorgeous hotel and uh, we got it dirt cheap through Hotwire um, and it was so much nicer than the uh, convention center hotel which was like $250 a night we spent $100 a night or $110 for this gorgeous century old hotel um, and yeah it was marvelous I first time I'm using hot wire and I'm sold so this is just newspaper it's a pocket there's nothing in there yet deco tape paint <laughs> uh, Neko <laughs> we bought Neko wafers uh, a card that I'm gonna paint this card we actually I've had from going to Rocky Horror Picture Show like almost a decade ago some crazy some flyer it was really cool um, yeah an envelope from a bill <laughs> just kind of cool because it kind of works so Donkey Kong remix this was like my name badge because um, we're and my partner had a name badge so Donkey Kong remix is his game and uh, we were meeting people and upgrading people's kits and stuff um, this is a pouch I made uh, I forget what it was maybe I think yeah okay it was newspaper and we got these huge shipping labels on a box or shipping labels on a envelope I took them and I glued them on uh, painted them so that yeah I used this leftover beautiful turquoise in my uh, my other one so these are the bracelets I wore and I just did this kind of space themed <laughs> stickers and the other cute robots so yeah and another little envelope there's nothing in there we bought this really crazy pasta like when we were in you guys have such cool things at Walmart food that we don't have so it was c-shaped pasta so there's a tuck spot and then I that's pretty much it so the rest is just empty so that's an old card cardboard an old bill envelope newspaper bill envelope and oh yeah I saw the tutorial I forget who did it who did it uh, and if somebody asks I'll go look for it um, it's a tutorial to do it's one two three four four pockets so one can go in here and then you have in here so one two and then in here three and then four out of one envelope it's just too cool and I suppose the way you glued it down too you can maybe put another one yeah so it's four super 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 cool so I, I want to make more of those the newspaper construction paper the other ad my other crazy paper and the back of the card so first signature I do big signatures so I'll just flip through quickly this one's really junky flyer d-link <laughs> I think it was that size or did I cut it I don't know construction paper uh, oh this is uh, the letter from uh, the paper in snows with the branches and the birds and the snowflake so that's the paper paper of that another one of these card envelope um, just random paper tiny little card tag from an artist that I met uh, card so paper lots of really random stuff so this is going to be fun to fill out so yeah all the same papers and the last signature magazine <laughs> just to print 25% off I've got so many of these from trying to run my photography business random paper ah yes so this is in snows what had the pretty trees and I did all like the flips and stuff so this is the other part of it so the trees are up here so she got the top snow got the top of this newspaper envelope card paper bag which I don't oh yeah I guess it was torn so I put deco tape uh, a card yeah we traveled to Cape Breton a few years ago and stopped at Rita's home which is like a tea shop breakfast place and a museum to Rita McNeil who sadly passed away she was a folk singer I think Canadian folk singer a card the bottom of the card is in snows <laughs> So lots of things shared between here and snows and then yeah the back side of everything so yeah 
I kind of like using these flyers and brochures, really fun. So that's that one. And I still got two minutes. Today I went to the thrift store and I'm going to do an altered book. So I'm going to have three journals going, four journals going at the same time. And I have different uses for all, for all of them, so it works. Pardon me. So yeah, this is like, I found this, it's just really, really pretty. And then like, the, the inside plate is really, really pretty. And like, it's like that in the back. And it is Dictionary of French Authors in French. I got it for a buck. And like, really nice, thick, luxurious paper. So I'm going to do this meth this one, like, where you rip out some pages and, like, take a page skip a few pages. I have to see if this is the right kind of book for it. I didn't even look at that. I just thought the book was cool. So you take a page and then you rip out three or four or five, depending how thick your book is. So you rip all these out and you glue this page to this page. Bonk. And then you take this page and you rip out two or three or four or five and you glue this page, this page to this page. So all the ripped bits and you like, you don't rip it too close. So you rip them here. And you glue this one to this one, and all like torn bits are hidden inside, so it makes it for a really nice book. And this has, oh my gosh, oh yeah, it has like a little, this is part of the book, so a little bookmark. And, uh, oh wow, I didn't even notice that. It's got over 350 pages, so this is going to be fun. So, uh, I guess this will just be for random art, so I guess this one I'll share a lot with you. Um, so that's it! So I hope you like that, and I hope to do more, and I hope these videos don't suck, and I apologize for my cold, and uh, I'll see you all again. Bye-bye!